Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the fighter in the red color. 20 years old, 180 centimeters. The official weight fighter, 85.6 kilos. His professional record is 14 fights, 7 wins, 3 victories by the count, and 7 losses. The representative of Slovakia. Introducing the fighter in the blue color, 25 years old, 177 centimeters. The official lead fighter, 84.6 kilos. His professional record is 19 fights, 14 beats, 9 victories by the count and 5 losses. Ladies and gentlemen, the representative of Slovenia, Sasha T. Okay, the ref giving the final rules of engagement here before we take off. Let's get the cameraman out of the ring. Is Adrian okay, having a slight height of you can see it, a bit longer reach. A couple leg checks right there. Nice, nice left jab followed by a right hook. Right there was a leather left jab by Adrian, all landing. Goes in there with a left jab followed by an uppercut. Good combinations, Looks like he's been in the gym training. Left by Adrian right there did land. Sasha seems to be leaving himself a little bit open here in the first round. Either he's going to be relying heavily upon his chin, and he thinks he can, or he's going to hurt him. And Larry, because I'll tell you right now, Adrian's just landing shots right here. He had a right hook that just landed, he had a left hook that landed, his jabs are landing. They're finding their way past the glove of Sasha. Sasha also countering, getting some of his own punches in. But Adrian right here seems to be uh, controlling the first round a little bit. A nice left by Sasha. Snap the head back of Adrian. Oh, a beautiful right hook by Adrian. Right there's a left jab, which landed. Another right hook. Another right hook by Adrian. Sasha is definitely countering. Very nice, stunning right hooks and jabs, all landing. Very solid. And you can see Sasha's eyes just, you know, lining up and everything. He's just getting right past those gloves. Sasha looks a little bit stunned here in the ring. His eyes are really wide open. He had a nice little right-left combo land on it. Sasha did on the head. We have 10 seconds left in the first round. Another left jab followed by a right hook by Adrian. He's just getting that jab in, and that's really good. You know, you close your eyes for a second there, and you follow up with that right hook, and you get those combos, and they land. It's going to eventually knock you out. I got to give that round to Adrian. He was a much stronger fighter. He definitely stunned Sasha a couple times there. And Sasha's leaving himself wide open, way too wide open. And let's look at the ladies dance for a little bit. No?
We're about to start the second round here. The second round. Let's see if Adrian can continue in the second round what he started in the first round, or will Sasha make some changes? That first jab should be a telltale side by Adrian. If it sneaks through, then I think we're going to have much more of the same. And that jab is sneaking through. A nice left, a nice left by Sasha landed. Adrian definitely showing more combinations. They traded kicks. Adrian came right back after the last kick through the punch. We got a cut underneath the eye, right on the cheek of Sasho. He is cut right now and bleeding. Another jabs. Those jabs are just sneaking through. Now they're they're not necessarily knockout punches, but they definitely will take their wear and tear on you. Adrian with a nice left knee connected there. Oh, a beautiful left by Sasha. That stunned Adrian. So both fighters have been stunned by punches, punches they didn't even see coming. Another right by Adrian, a beautiful right hook. Just landed. Another left jab by Adrian, a left jab followed by a right hook. Sasha does not, though he's not even backing down. He countered with a beautiful, a beautiful left jab by Sasha, right on the chin of Adrian. Oh my God, a right uppercut by Adrian. It landed perfectly. How Sasha still stayed and not stunned, I don't even know. That uppercut landed square on his chin. He didn't see it coming. He was throwing his own punches. It was an absolutely beautiful punch by Adrian. I give Sasha credit, he must have one strong chin because I'll tell you what, when you don't see those kind of punches coming and they land, they can sometimes put you flat on your back. Nice left jab by Adrian. Again, those jabs are just sneaking right through. They gotta be having their effect. We got blood coming out of the cheek, it's not pouring out, but it's definitely coming out. A beautiful right hook, he, he came in with that pretend, uh, a pretend fly knee and followed right with that right hook. Another uppercut, right uppercut by Adrian. These are all landing. He definitely has the edge here in the second round. Another right knee to the head, right to the chin, another right knee, the body, a left hook. And Sasha just battling right back, landing another left on his own. And there's a left jab, you see his head, you see Adrian when he throws that left jab, Sasha's head just snaps right back. He is feeling these punches. A very good round. I think Adrian took that definitively. Definitely that round was his. I really don't know. I'll give Sasha all the credit. You know, when a guy gets nailed like that and he still stands, you gotta give him credit for having a hard chin. Final round, I'm gonna give Adrian both rounds. I don't see this going to a, uh, to be quite honest, I don't see this going to a fourth round. I think Sasha Klink has to get a knockout here if he has any chance of winning. Right now that cut is not bleeding underneath the cheek. It seems like it's gonna open up really easy. That did open up, he started to bleed. Another left jab by Adrian sneaking through. We'll see if Adrian keeps going after that cheek. Makes that cut worse. Couple of trading leg kicks right now. Beautiful left of the body followed by a, a right leg kick to the body. 
He tried to go up top with that. A beautiful right uppercut just landed. Another left landed. Sasha's getting pummeled. I'll tell you, these punches are landing jab after jab, followed by hooks. His knee even landed. Adrian is just really just hammering Sasha right now. And I'm surprised that Sasha's just standing. I, I, I'm a bit shocked. Maybe their punches aren't hard enough to knock him out, but a couple of them you could clearly see have caught Sasha by off guard. But what makes this even scarier is Sasha just needs really one counter punch while Adrian's wide open and it could end it. This guy has definitely got the chin to be able to take these punches. Especially, he keeps this, especially since he's been leaving himself wide open all night long. And those jabs have been coming through with absolutely nothing stopping them. There's a left, a left hook that just got in by Adrian. Snuck past the glove. A beautiful left of the body. A nice left jab to the body. Sasha came with a leg kick, pushed him into the corner. I'm not sure Sasha has enough, enough power now behind his punches. I, I think he must be exhausted after taking the beating he's taken in the first two rounds, even in the beginning of this round. Oh, a beautiful right uppercut, I tell you. Adrian is showing speed, he's showing great technique. And he's landing those big punches. All fight long. We got 50 seconds left in this fight. This was all Adrian. All Adrian Valentin done this right in this fight. There's another left jab. Sasha walked right into a left jab, followed by a right hook. He's now he's just at this point just walking into the punches. But he, he, he even think he must know that he needs a big punch. But he doesn't have it in him at this point. Let's see, there's still plenty of time, 26 seconds left. As you all know, this is kickboxing, even boxing. One punch can change the tide just like that. I don't see it happening. I think Adrian fought the better fight defensively. He definitely was the aggressor, throwing more punches, landing bigger punches. But there you have a nice little flurry at the end by Sasho. Not enough. Adrian just shakes him off. And that's the fight. Adrian, at 100%, he, they, he had to have won that fight. I would be shocked if it comes out any other way, as would probably you, the viewer. We're going to wait now for uh, the side judges to tally up their points. An applause to Adrian. I, I wasn't expecting to win. He's a 50-50 chance, but he came out and was the better player. Man, but I will say to Sasha, that guy's got a chin and a half. He does not go down easily. There was a couple punches that I think could have flattened him out on his back, and he just took the ball each time. So yeah, my hat's off to uh, Sasha. He was not the better fighter, but he definitely is a strong fighter. Oh, we have the chance. Please the center of the ring. By a unanimous decision, the winner is fighter from the red corner, Adrian Valentine. So it seems the red corner is the lucky corner tonight. Only one fighter out of the blue has won, and that was uh, Artyom Pashporin. So could the red corner be the lucky corner tonight? All right, let's give a shout out to our our sponsors, we have W5 Sportswear, actually a great sportswear. You guys can check them out at w5.kick.com. You can find their, their uh, sportswear online. Uh, Vorgo, Water, Rashotni Dome, the Bank, Echo Sienaj, and Casino Rebuy Stars. Thank you guys very much for sponsoring. These are our sponsors for tonight's main event. We have some other sponsors as well, as you can see, by the names around the arena.